Hi, this is Dr. Kevin Polk, and I'm back to go over the matrix. That's the matrix right there, and the cognitive behavioral coordinate system based on Descartes, uh, that is the Cartesian coordinate system. And Descartes was famous for saying, I think, therefore I am, which is related to this self as content, self as process, self as context talk. If you're not familiar, self, these three selves are talked about in acceptance and commitment training and therapy and they're based on relational frame theory and even deeper than that functional contextualism but let's not get too complicated let's just look at the three selves up here I am talking about this as an let's let's at first call this sort of a timeline and a baby is born and sensations start showing up uh, and uh, gotta redo my brush here and sensations start showing up. See, hear, taste, touch, smell. And all up in here is sensations. Uh, and the baby gets older and older, and I'm not going to get into that developmental stuff. But here at zero, zero, the self shows up. I'm going to say zero, 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 comma, zero, self. And then I want to represent negative one here as self as content. So zero, negative one is self as content. Well, what do we mean by self as content? Well, let's go over here and say I am uh, a doctor doctor of clinical psychology and so if I just live my entire life saying I am a doctor doctory I like that doctor uh, but as a little kid you might say I am a fireman uh, you might say I'm gonna be a nurse uh, it, it, you can say a lot of things but later on in life we have many roles and uh, and they it said as I am a blank. Now this isn't a very flexible uh, way of uh, thinking about life as you go from one relatively rigid role to the next. You know, I am student, I am boy, I am girl, I am wife, I am husband, I am worker, I am this, and, and each one of those uh, has a set of behaviors associated with it, so not very flexible, not as flexible as it could be. So then we have self as process. Well, the way we're thinking of that is, is down here at the negative three. Remember, we're looking at developmental view. And so after I am blank has shown up and been practiced, sometime in the years that go by, uh, self as process shows up. You know, and as I am a processor. So I process air, breathe it in, breathe it out. I process food. I process information. I'll just say info. You know, I'm a processor. Uh, and that shows up. It's a bit more flexible. You're, you're seeing a broader view of the self. Uh, and so it's sort of pretty much on this two-dimensional plane here, but nevertheless somewhat broader. I, I am a processor of information. Uh, I know about language and I learn language and uh, I have thoughts and my mind uh, has thoughts. We usually call this part of the matrix the mind. And, that. and then finally we get to this self as context. And this is the devil of a thing to to uh, explain to people. Uh, and so I'm going to try it this way. So we're going to call it negative 5 down here. So self as context uh, uh, becomes, uh, oh sorry, this was 0, negative 3. So self as context is 0, comma, negative 5. And 0, comma, negative 5 down here. 
and suddenly things become dimensional around this corner and that's what's happened I'm gonna darken that and say that's what's happening with self as context you say well what do you mean by that well here's what I mean by that let's draw a line here all the way there and come down and let's draw a line here and come down and another line there and come down and we can keep doing that on out into infinity, but I'm not going to go to infinity. Uh, and do a couple of more out here like this. And so these across this are contexts. Contexts across time. Because the Cartesian numbering system includes this axis which sort of kind of looks like that I want to shoot it right down the middle like that we can see it solid out here because it would be visible to us uh, if time were visible call that TZ and now we have the X Y and Z coordinates that a lot of people are familiar with and that's given us the third dimension here so we had a two-dimensional matrix now we have a three-dimensional matrix and and now the self the zero zero and remember this zero zero is also zero zero here zero zero here zero zero here keeps on going out there and to infinity well it's the same as this I uh, we have I am I am I am okay but with the self as context I am a historical being I can see myself over time I used to be this way, so it's, it's right here. Let's say I'm, I'm in this context right now, whatever that is. You can split this time up however you want, but uh, whatever it is, I'm right here right now, and I can say, well, I used to be this way, and I would like to be this way, uh, and uh, so I used to do a bunch of away moves. This is the away axis, or the away side, uh, over here. So I used to do lots of away moves back then, but now I've got myself to where I'm doing more toward moves. That's over here. And I would like to continue to do that in the future. Uh, and I, I, The way I do this Cartesian system is toward others. So we'll put others in here. So I'm going to make more and more pro-social behaviors out into the future. I'm seeing myself as a historical being across time. And that's where the self as context comes in. We've really broadened out the, the look of it into a third dimension. So I hope that helps you understand self as context. Bye bye now.